What is the pH of a 0.3 mole per liter solution of sodium nitrite? In this sample problem, we'll incorporate a few of the concepts discussed so far. pH is derived from hydrogen ion concentration. Sodium nitrite does not contain any hydrogen atoms, but water from the aqueous environment does. To see what role water plays in this equation, first thing to do is to write out the bronsted lowry equation. We start by listing all the species present. Using the data book, we identify the strongest acid and the strongest base. We react the strongest acid and the strongest base to form the conjugate acid-base products. There are no hydrogen ions here, but there are hydroxide ions. And there is a relationship between hydroxide ions and hydrogen ions when we include the Kw, the ionization constant of water. But what is the hydroxide ion concentration? We take the equilibrium expression for this reaction. The concentration of nitrite ions is found in the question, 0.3 moles per liter of sodium nitrite. Quantitatively, this dissociates into 0.3 moles per liter of sodium ions and 0.3 moles per liter of nitrite ions. The Kb for this reaction is derived from the acid ionization constant for nitrous acid, which can be lifted from your data book. The Kw divided by the Ka for nitrous acid comes to 1.78 times 10 to the negative 11. That still leaves two unknowns, the nitrous acid concentration and the hydroxide ion concentration. However, the 1 to 1 mole ratio from the equation shows that these substances form in equal amounts. So at equilibrium, the nitrous acid concentration will be the same as the hydroxide ion concentration. Therefore, I can simplify the expression to show that the product of these two concentrations is the same as the hydroxide ion concentration squared. The hydroxide concentration is calculated to be 2.31 times 10 to the negative 6 moles per liter. Next, use the relationship between the water ionization constant and the hydroxide ion concentration to determine the hydrogen ion concentration. And finally, use the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration to determine the pH, which is 8.364 rounded to 3 significant digits. Remember the significant digits rule for expressing pH and pOH. Only the digits following the decimal are significant. If you think I went a bit too fast through the math process of this, this is because this was covered quite extensively in Chemistry 20. To review, see Chapter 6 in your textbook.